Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live here. I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. I've gotten back in today. Uh, me and my wife, we have been out all day long filming things in regards to the Vatican's um, big thing that they're doing starting last year, the year of mercy, the year of jubilee, as Pope Francis has called this as well. It is very in-depth, the work we're doing. We caught a lot of images today, even of Pope Francis at the Year of Mercy uh, celebration there that they're doing there at in Vatican City there. And uh, we were actually even uh, filming just a few seconds there live on live stream, so you might be able to catch that. It's very difficult to put this up as a pre-notice. Uh, but we're, we're covering different places, different angles, and we're wanting to bring this information out to you guys in a very well laid out program uh, tomorrow night. So we are uh, down for the night, unable to, to put this together tonight because it's very important information. You need to be made aware of what's really going on. and We want to share with you in-depth coverage that we have done here in Vatican City. We'll again be uh, where the Pope is at tomorrow, hopefully to get some more footage. We have gotten some extraordinary video uh, and photographic footage as well, which is very important for a journalist because uh, if, as long as you have your own work, it makes it much better when putting this out publicly. And uh, so I wanted to share that with you. Also, just one little bit of news is concerning to me is that uh, something that uh, Turkey has said today, uh, reported on RT News, uh, there is a big issue, a major fuss between them and Russia. Once again, Turkey is saying that Russia has violated their airspace with the Su-34. Uh, no doubt that could be so. The plane may have uh, squeezed over into that airspace. But it's what Turkey actually said about it this time that was very, very interesting. They're saying that Russia is violating not only Turkey's airspace, but NATO's airspace. That's just kind of provocative, if you ask me. And uh, I, it can only lead to further uh, escalations of tensions that could easily turn into a, a, a major war. I think that's also Turkey's way of letting Russia know that NATO has our back and that if you come in here, you're going to deal with not just Turkey, but NATO. So clearly it is a threat from uh, President Erdogan of uh, the Turkish government there threatening the, the Russian President Vladimir Putin that NATO is Turkey's airspace. Let's see what happens in this incident here. We'll be keeping a close eye on those things as well as while we're here in Rome, trying to capture a lot of this information for you uh, tomorrow too, and thereafter we'll be pretty much back on schedule. We are covering some other stories uh, throughout Europe, including the refugees uh, we'll be de dealing with in France, uh, up around the Calais jungle and where the refugees have been trying to get into England, hoping to be able to cover that for you, as well as the Syrian peace talks in Geneva, uh, which may not go as what uh, President Putin would hope for. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good evening.